Imagine a weapon so powerful it can cut through concrete, earth, and steel to obliterate underground bunkers, weapon silos, and command centers buried hundreds of feet beneath the surface. In today's exploration, we'll unravel the engineering secrets behind bunker buster bombs and missiles, which enable militaries to penetrate fortified targets with unmatched precision and power. From high-speed impact to delayed detonation, these specialized weapons represent a remarkable leap in military technology, capable of taking out targets that once seemed untouchable. In modern warfare, where adversaries shield their most critical assets under layers of reinforced concrete and deep underground, conventional bombs don't stand a chance. But bunker busters do. They are designed to breach these hardened defenses, reaching targets hidden from ordinary weapons. So, how do they work? Let's dive into the key features that make bunker busters unique, taking a closer look at some of the most iconic examples and their roles in warfare. Bunker busters rely on a combination of speed, dense materials, and intelligent guidance to deliver powerful explosions exactly where they're needed. Here's how these elements come together in action. A critical factor in Bunker Buster's penetrating power is kinetic energy, which relies on mass and speed. When released from high altitudes, bombs like the GBU-28 gain enormous momentum as they accelerate downwards, harnessing gravity to achieve impact speeds that can pierce through earth and concrete. Developed during the Gulf War, the GBU-28 was specially designed to destroy deeply buried bunkers in Iraq. Weighing in at 5,000 pounds, this bomb can smash through up to 100 feet of earth or 20 feet of solid concrete, reaching fortified command bunkers that other bombs simply couldn't touch. Missiles like the AGM-158 JASM, or Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, on the other hand, use propulsion to gain momentum over long distances, making them perfect for striking targets from up to 230 miles away. With high kinetic energy preserved throughout their journey, these missiles achieve impact speeds that allow them to breach fortified facilities deep within enemy territory. To penetrate multiple layers without shattering on impact, bunker busters are designed with ultra-dense casings made from materials like tungsten or depleted uranium. The GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator, or MOP, one of the heaviest bunker busters in the world at 30,000 pounds, is built with a reinforced steel casing. This gives it the durability to smash through up to 200 feet of reinforced concrete, or nearly 300 feet of earth, maintaining its structure as it descends deep into the target before detonating. This durability is crucial. If the casing failed on impact, the bomb would detonate prematurely and miss its mark. The GBU-57 structural strength, combined with its sheer weight, allows it to penetrate the most fortified targets imaginable, including nuclear bunkers and command centers hidden far below ground. The Taurus KEPD-350 missile, a collaboration between Germany and Sweden, also showcases this concept with its unique brooch warhead, which has a two-stage detonation system. First, an initial charge pierces through the target's defenses, creating an entry point. Then, a secondary explosion, delayed until after penetration, delivers a powerful blast within the target's core. With this feature, the Taurus can disable even the most secure facilities, reaching depths that only bunker busters can achieve. To ensure that explosions occur precisely at the target's core, bunker busters use delayed fuses. Rather than exploding on impact, the fuse allows the weapon to penetrate a predetermined depth before triggering the blast. This enables a more controlled and precise explosion, maximizing the weapon's destructive power exactly where it's needed most. For example, the GBU-28 uses a customizable delay fuse, making it capable of reaching fortified bunkers by timing the explosion to detonate only after penetrating several layers of concrete or soil. The delayed fuse is also central to the Taurus KEPD-350, whose two-stage warhead system enables a timed detonation sequence. The initial explosion clears a path, while the second explosion hits the core, delivering a lethal impact to critical points within the target. To hit fortified targets with pinpoint accuracy, Bunker Busters utilize advanced guidance systems, ensuring they strike their intended marks regardless of distance or environmental challenges. The GBU-28 is equipped with laser guidance, which allows it to lock onto a laser-designated target. 
This high level of precision is crucial when striking hardened bunkers, where even a slight deviation could mean missing the target's most vulnerable spot. On the other hand, the GBU-57 MOP and the AGM-158 JASM rely on GPS guidance, which allows them to navigate through complex airspace and reach distant or hidden targets. Beyond the conventional bunker busters, militaries have developed a wide range of strategies and technologies to breach fortified enemy positions. Here are some notable methods. Number 1. Thermobaric Weapons – Extreme Pressure and Heat Thermobaric weapons, also known as fuel air explosives, are designed to deliver an incredibly high temperature blast that generates overpressure capable of devastating bunkers, tunnels, and caves. Upon detonation, a thermobaric weapon disperses an aerosol cloud of fuel that mixes with atmospheric oxygen before igniting, causing a high temperature explosion with immense pressure. This can reach inaccessible bunker spaces and travel around corners. Number 2. Hypersonic Missiles – Sheer Speed and Penetration Hypersonic missiles, traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5, offer immense kinetic energy on impact. Due to their incredible speed and dense casings, they can penetrate even the most fortified structures with minimal interception. Number 3. Earth Penetrating Nuclear Weapons, or EPNWs – Ultimate Bunker Busting Power EPNWs are designed to reach depths that conventional explosives cannot and provide unparalleled destructive power. EPNWs burrow into the ground before detonating, producing a shockwave that devastates underground structures. The B-61 Model 11 is an American nuclear gravity bomb modified for Earth penetration, capable of reaching deep-seated targets. Number 4. Directed Energy Weapons, or DEWs – Heat and Pressure Focused with Precision DEWs offer a futuristic method to compromise bunkers by focusing immense energy on a single point. These weapons can superheat surfaces, weakening structures or disabling electronic systems within bunkers. The U.S. Army's Athena laser system aims to breach surface defenses and could complement conventional bunker-busting efforts. As military strategies continue to evolve, the arsenal of tools available for breaching these fortified structures grows, ensuring that no bunker remains a sanctuary. The increasing sophistication of these weapons signifies a shift in how wars are fought emphasizing precision, speed, and the ability to neutralize threats that lie beneath the surface. In an age where underground fortifications have become a norm for adversaries, understanding the capabilities and limitations of bunker busters and their alternatives will be essential for military effectiveness on the modern battlefield.